Hello Darts Nuts, welcome to Darts Review Channel. As promised when I did my review of the Unicorn Ultra, I said I would do an update. Um, so I'm, this update is around about after 50 hours use, maybe around 53 hours I think in total. Um, I don't really play as much as some people. Some people play for like three, four or more hours a day. Some days I'm lucky if I play 20 minutes a day. And some weeks I don't play depending on what's taken. So that's why it takes me a while to, to, to like fully test. And sometimes the only time I throw a dart is when you see me throwing them on a review. It just depends on which time I've got and whether anything's taken. But I think I've done a, a fair test on the board now. And like I said, I didn't rotate it. I just kept it in the same spot to hopefully like get an idea of a longer term way because if I was rotating it all the time I don't think I'd get a, a pr proper impression the amount of time that I play on it so we'll have a close look at the board now and then I'll talk a little bit more about it all right I'm just gonna have a look at it from this position first and the camera's on my uh, stand like it normally is when I'm doing the reviews and if you look I mean, you might be able to see better on the screen, but I'm looking through the camera screen at the moment, so I don't really see too much. I see a couple of white areas, white dots, but we'll zoom in a little bit. And now you can see a few more dots appearing. And as you zoom in further, you see more, but most of what I've been playing has been around the 20 area, like I said. I wasn't gonna rotate it. Now, if I turn off my studio lights, dots are not quite as noticeable because I think a lot of the time it's just how deep the ink penetrates. So we'll have a better close look at it now and then I'll talk a little bit more about it. All right, so I'll just have a quick close look at it. So as I said, I concentrated mostly on the 20 area and as you can see, hopefully you can see anyway, it's a little bit more worn. There's a little bit of fiber pulling there. The spider I think is performing quite well. There's nothing really to report about in terms of that. Um, I wish it was a little bit flusher to the board, but that's about it. Now, whether you can see there or not, there's a slight blackness to here not sure if it comes across on the camera but i think what's happening there is when the darts have hit the black segment there's been like some ink transfer i've seen worse on other boards like but it's just very slightly noticeable um in terms of the wear though i think once it's bedded in a little bit better i think it it, it seems to perform better now if i go to an, a segment which is still quite new so let's have a look I'll go there now you see that the board itself is smoother there because i haven't really thrown at this part much but if i stick my dart point in you can see the hole it just it shows up and it's mainly down to the fact that the uh the fibers are still quite tight and also the ink hasn't penetrated as much as it probably should have and that's why you see the white but if I go at the white section you'll still still see the holes but they show up more on the black now if I go to the part where I've worn it in a little bit more there you go you can still see it but once you start pressing the dart in a little bit it seems to go quicker and basically all that's happening is you're just pushing the fibers around with your point but like i say i think it it wears better once you've bed it in a little bit and loosened the fibers up so overall i don't think it's a bad board at all the one thing i have noticed is the firmness is a little bit firmer than the blade six not quite as firm as the aspar or the gladiator um, but there seems to be a little bit of spottiness with the firmness level. And what I mean by that is, say your dart goes in there, it seems a little bit hard to get in there, but there'll be areas where it'll go in a little bit easier. Can't wait there. See, see that one there just felt a little bit easier to go in. So it's not like a massive issue. 
it's mostly quite consistent but every now and then I, I seem to find a spot that's a little bit harder or a little bit softer so just a slight bit of unevenness there but I've quite enjoyed throwing at the board I think it's quite a good looking board and it sounds quite nice when the darts are hitting it so for home use I've certainly been happy enough with it I wish they'd make it a little bit smaller and make it to the size of the other boards though because it's a bit tight for to put your surround on unless you've got a unicorn surround <laughs> but there you go that's the update on the unicorn eclipse ultra so i hope you found it useful thanks for watching and happy darting